Hello everybody, welcome back to Subnautica, Johnny here. Gonna sneak in an episode early morning before work, I just can't get enough of the game. So let's have a couple fruits here for breakfast. Bam, bam. So the dream is that we're gonna be uh, kinda self-sustained with our plantation here. Uh, let's see if we have any radio messages. This is LifePod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate uh -huh. transmission origin recorded to date to bank. So that seems like maybe a mission for today. We're gonna pack our radiation suit there. You can see I've been fabricating some medikits. Might come in handy. Uh, and dude, I've been busy. Let me show you. Let me let me give you a, a, a run down of the place. Look at this. We got a little plantation. You got your creep vines. Some of this stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be useful at all, but it looks kind of cool. And then I actually built a scanner room as well. You can see we got some cameras on it. And the good thing about it is that uh, they actually have their own beacon. So here we go. Uh, I'm only showing this one. Uh, and I've disabled the life pod beacon now. Uh, but essentially we have a beacon. Again, before I keep moving too far, I wanna have the ability to set up beacons on my own. So that we can set up proxy bases further ahead. But dude, look at this. We got a, a little extension on our base already. A lovely glass uh, hallway into our scanner room and then up here guess what our observatory is built i found uh i found a way to get tusks from the um w from the uh what, what's the name from the stalkers that's the name i was looking for um and because we're a scientist we don't have to kill them we're smarter than that i uh, remember that they were dragging salvage into their lairs if you go there, you can actually find tusks, because, you know, they try to bite the salvage and lose some of their teeth. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a look from the inside, though. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, so we got a little hatch built in here, so that we can come in. Here's where we go down. I'm building tons of these reinforcement doors, which will keep the stability up to a good standard. And now going up here... We're straight into the observatory. Look at that. Pretty awesome, right? You know what? I feel like we should have a little desk here. We don't have any, uh, any materials on us. So, uh, let's quite quickly go back. Pick up some materials. Grab a bunch of titanium here. Maybe some glass in case we need it. Let's go up. Alright. Here we go. Something like this. Need our swivel chair there as well. Ever so slowly align it. Like that. It's pretty cool. So you have, um, sorry. You have your little spot here to just sit and watch, oversee things. No power, huh? Let's recharge this bad boy. Uh, we're gonna have a little trash can, perhaps? As you go in here. No trash may enter the room. I think that's all we're, we're gonna have in here. We don't wanna overload this place. Pretty cool. Anyway, I, I wanted to show you because I'm pretty excited about having the observatory. Evidently. 
Okay, let's drop these resources. Drop our glass. We're gonna get ready for the trip. What do we have here? That's a cured peeper. It's gonna be... Great, but we probably wanna pack like a couple more just in case in terms of water. That's an alright amount. I'd like to have like one more, I think, for peace of mind. Actually, we gotta drink one, so... It's nighttime, but that's okay. The journey to um, Aurora is quite safe, so I don't feel too bad about it. Let's go back in here. We're gonna load another full battery. Drop the empty one here. I wish I could tell between the empty ones. Um, yeah, I think uh, we're ready. We're ready for this. I'm going to equip my radiation helmet. And you know what? We'll drop our rebreather here. Because I prefer to have the extra slots. Once we get back, we'll check out the scanner room. Let's just check the... Uh, the signal first. So, if we go to beacons, we should have... Stranded near a cave and under attack. I think that's the one we want to track. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. Um, we're gonna take... We're gonna take the Seamoth here, I think. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Dude, that's the cave. That's the cave we went in on the last episode, isn't it? No. Oh no, this... Uh, we've already visited this one. Bad beacon. Shallows. Hmm. Okay, so it actually looks like. Let me get a, a life pod thingy here. Whoops. Did I turn it off? There it is. We know it's close to the Aurora, so I guess that's gonna have to do as an approximate location. Let's see if we can find it as it is. There were talks of a, of a giant creature running around, so we might be in for a scare. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's kind of cool that we're a scientist, so we're not going to be shooting cannons at things and stuff. And generally, I think the only lethal weapon we have is the knife. Looks like we got some stasis options and things like that, but... Not much in the way of lethal weapons. So, let me just... Yeah. Okay, we'll go towards... The, uh... The Aurora. See what we can find. Still pretty dark in here, but I think we've never come this close to the Aurora. Is it just above us? Not quite. I can see some wreckage here. That's definitely worth a scan. Let's just check out the vicinity. 
It appears to be safe. Anything in here to scan? Nope. Come on, give me something. A little scannerino. Oh, office chair. It's something. Okay. So that wasn't much. I was kind of hoping for a little more than that. It's possible we missed something, but I think that's actually kind of it. Go back to the Seamoth here. We can see the ship there. We've never been this close, which is really exciting. Whoa! Sorry, buddy. Um... I would like to find the, the signal. Or like the, the life pod. Let's see, take a look at the information we got. Signal coordinates corrupted. Yeah. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. We're close to the crash site. No more information than that, huh? That's really not a lot to go on. Try to circle the Aurora here. Some wreckage. Probably worth taking a look. We're not gonna pick up any salvage. I don't wanna use any inventory space in case we gotta pick up stuff yeah you know what I might as well pick up like one or two pieces that's gonna be all right yeah we've never become this close it's kind of exciting So that's a little bit dangerous. Got one of them guys there. What do we have here? Oh, I thought we could scan this. Okay. Pick it up. Remember, those guys can still attack us. So... Regular stalker? That is very loud. That is not a normal stalker! Oh fuck! That was not a normal stalker. 
Get out. I'm full. Run. You're not running. Move. That was huge. Is that thing still after us? We took some severe damage, dude. Alright, well... Lesson learned. <laughs> dude, that's probably the... The monster they were referring to in the, in the voice log. That was scary as fuck, dude. Okay. Here's what you do. Drink a water, calm down. We have to repair our... Uh, our pod here. Took way too much damage on that. I kinda want to... Have a peek around here if it's safe. And I think it is. Dude, it looked like a normal stalker Passing for a second. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, that's okay. Um Yeah, dude, it looked like a normal stalker for a second, but it was way bigger. At the very least we'll pick up some materials. little copper gotta watch out the oxygen because it's gonna run out quicker because we don't have the rebreather mask all right let's go back here welcome aboard captain Well, that wasn't very successful, but I think, uh, you know, the life pod is gonna be around there. We just gotta be more careful about how we go in. And we need to uh, avail ourselves with a repair tool. And I was talking to a, to a friend and um, they told me like, the little guys that explode in the caves? The pods that they come from... ...actually contain cave sulfur. So, so that's the answer to our question there. We didn't know quite how to... ...find cave sulfur. You can see though, it's super handy to have the beacon. Ah, and I also, uh, I was able to... To craft a compass, you can see we can we can now see the the direction there. So we're we're heading west right now. It's gonna be real good for orientation here because it's easy to get turned around, obviously. Well, it was certainly an adventure. <laughs> we got the scare out of us early morning here. Um, I don't know how to deal with that guy, just, uh, probably just avoid him as much as possible. Knowing that he's there, we should be able to just kind of swim around him and look for... ...look for our people. We really need to repair this thing, so we'll try to... ...find some cave sulfur. Maybe even right now? But before we do, let's check out the scanner room. Let's go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Maybe there's some useful information in there. And also, look at this awesome catwalk. Isn't this cool? Yeah. We need to set up like uh, an exterior plantation on the surface as well. Maybe we'll do that too. So there's a fabricator in, fabricator in here. Ah, allows us to do specific things, huh? Scanner room upgrades. 
scanner room speed upgrade that could be good and something we can do right now actually magnetite is not something we've encountered so far uh, cave sulfur fragment uh, you know what look for fragments How did the camera work? Uh, the, the camera... So... Oh, we can control it like this. This gives you camera 2. There are really fragments in there? Oh, I'm guessing we have to uh, to break the door open, though. Oh, there is no door. Where are the fragments, man? Oh, we don't trigger the the enemies as well, so that's good. Uh, I mean, you can see why I'm a little confused. <laughs> it says there's a fragment right here. Yeah, we probably have to go in there. Ouch. This is really cool as an exploration tool. I wish it told us like how far the fragment is. I mean, it kind of looks like they're a little bit far, so... We just quit that. I, I wonder if the camera is now... want to set up a beacon for the camera because maybe it's far away now. Yeah, I think that's what it is, so it takes quite some time uh, to do the scanning. Which is understandable, and we do have an upgrade for it, so I think we'll we'll run the upgrade right now. We have the materials. Can take benefit from the quick scanning straight away. One of you, one of you. And I think that's gonna do it for the episode today. We'll see... Uh, where it takes us on the next one. We need to find a, a repair tool or to to make a repair tool Repair our Seamoth But that's gonna be okay We're gonna run the upgrade here I don't think uh, it goes into our inventory does it it does how do you equip it? I don't quite know how to equip it. Scanner room upgrades. Well, that's how you equip it. <laughs> Here you go. Cool. So that will go faster. We'll see where it takes us on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know down below if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.